The infamous Falkland Road Red Light District in Mumbai, India is an intoxicating mix of sights and sounds. Uh, the day we walked down Falkland Road, it was a hot and humid monsoon season. We saw women in brightly colored sarongs lining the street calling out to us, walk in, walk in. Behind them uh, were children sitting on the stoop. Lots of chaos along the street. We saw families passing by. We saw goats in the street. We walked by one building uh, that had a movie poster for a virgin sales movie. Uh, lots of color and sound and a very intense experience. Nearby we walked into a brothel. This one along Grant Road, another large red light district in Mumbai. Climbed the dark stairwell to the second floor. It was late afternoon, so evening rush hadn't arrived yet. We were invited to step inside uh, an apartment where one family lives. Mom is working in the brothel, dad is a pimp also working in the brothel, and they have a five-year-old son. And so through a translator, we talked to the family, talked to the little boy who said he wants to be a police officer when he grows up. Sweet little kid trapped inside this horrific place. The brothel, inside the brothel is very intense. Uh, lots of odors and intense sights. We passed one small room where a woman was sprawled on the floor, apparently sleeping laundry hanging from the ceiling, including children's clothing, very narrow hallways, worn hallways, food buckets sitting for scraps sitting outside the little rooms. Uh, we entered one room uh, that's shared by at least two women, sat down and talked to one of the women who's 40 years old. She's worked in the brothel for 10 years. Tiny little brothel, tiny little apartment inside the brothel with three beds, a small kitchen, tiny toilet, and this is, this is their world, this is their life. We saw a few men inside the brothel, but it was late afternoon and the business was, would pick up later in the evening. Pimps were still inside. Usually how it works is the pimps will go outside and, and find men and get them to come inside. They hadn't gone out, the pimps hadn't gone out for the night yet, so they were hanging around sleeping and giving us dirty looks as we sat there and talked and sipped coffee with uh, the people who live and work there. Mumbai is an overwhelming place. Many people, lots of noise. Traffic is, is very, very heavy everywhere you go. But the red light districts in particular are overwhelming when you understand what's happening up the stairs to women and children. An uh, international justice mission study recently found that in Mumbai's public brothels, 10% of the people who are being exploited there are children. In the private brothels, brothels that screen the customers when they come in, it's up to 20% of those trapped and being exploited there, 20% are, are kids. India is ground zero when it comes to, to human traffic, in part because the country is so large and we're talking about so many people, in part because of the cultural and tradition of trafficking that's taken hold there. At the same time, when we left India, I felt both overwhelmed and hopeful because we met so many people who are working to address this problem and, and to do great work. And so we came away encouraged but also overwhelmed by the scope of the problem and how deeply rooted it is in tradition and business and culture in Mumbai and elsewhere in India.